the language of a human being is essentially the texture of his life. One of the components of the logo environment is the logo computer language. And this computer language is the only one right now that has been specifically designed in order to take into consideration the way people think and the way children learn. Oh, it should be easy. No, that should be hard. Logo is first and foremost not a computer language. Most people are addressing their comments on Logo at the level of the technical features of the language. The people who develop Logo don't see it primarily as a language. They see it as an educational philosophy. Now he's going to go up there. Some of the important ideas that we have tried to implement in Logo came from one of our masters, Professor Jean Piaget. I think everybody recognizes today that Piaget made some very keen observations on the way children grow and how their intelligence develops. What is important in Logo is that the child is in control of the development of his own intellectual activity. The kids decided they wanted to name the turtle, so they named him Apple Dumpling, and then the first thing we did was make our stuffed apple dumplings that are all over the ceiling. Because the children have a lot of say in the kinds of things that we do, I gave them the option of using their creative language writing period to write about apple dumpling. We have to learn how to write creatively and so on, but if we can make it more fun, so much the better. Craig, could you read your chapter one about how apple dumpling came to be? Long, long ago, in a galaxy far from us, there was a family that got shot into space. The family was a turtle family. The mother was pregnant. There was an explosion and it affected the baby. She finally had the baby. Everybody screamed because the baby was triangle shaped. Logo learning is characterized by things like a strong belief that we put too much emphasis in traditional learning on being right and wrong, a high degree of self-initiative on the part of the learner, a belief that learning should be enjoyable and a mutually supportive social context. So the role of the teacher will change very dramatically in that case. And this, I think, promises a rather more enjoyable, healthy, personal role for, uh, for the teacher. I put L-Y. Oh, I know how to kill it. The teacher is an essential element of a logo experiment or a logo class. Not in the sense that he is a teacher, but he is a keen observer of the activities of his children. The kids ask them some very good questions. And the teacher feels that he is really doing his job as a teacher and not as a policeman. I find, especially in my situation where we've got 14 computers normally, there are 14 different questions almost being asked at the same time. I think teachers who are going to get computers in their classroom are going to find that things do seem to occur much more quickly because kids are far more motivated. They're real keen. You're not really teaching them things. You're letting them go ahead and find out things on their own. Every child that, that sat down with Logo did different things. You, you gave them four basic commands, but everybody who started had a different reaction to it. The teachers will adapt very, very easily. One thing for sure is they will not be able to prevent the appearance of computers. And if they try, they're going to lose. The teachers, along with the children, will discover the great power of these new technologies and they will be participating themselves in the discoveries with the kids. Good, just as I wanted it. What we have tried to do is a first step in the direction of humanizing the computer, where the focus of attention is not the computer itself, but the mind of the child. <laughs>